Do you like it when your students do their work? Do you like it when your students do their work correctly? Do you like it when you have a quiet classroom? Do you like it when your kids don't get, as the youth say it today, turnt? Well, if you do and you said yes to all those things, you're gonna wanna stick around for this teaching tip video. on Kyle Thane here, also known by my stage name as Mr. Thane. I can't get him to stop calling me that. Today I got a new tip for you, brand new, fresh off the press. This is the first time I've ever tried it, and this it's brand new this year, never done before. I was struggling with classroom management a bit. I was struggling to get students to do their work correctly and do it appropriately and get it done, fill out the whole paper, worksheet, whatever we're doing. I was struggling with motivation for that. So basically what I did was I started being very clear and concise and I'm using stamps. Each day students are given their missions for the day and we I have them posted on the whiteboard all of the worksheets or accountability sheets that we're gonna be doing for the day. Usually three for reading, one for math, less for math because we do a little bit more hands-on stuff with math, manipulatives and stuff like that, but they can see what their missions are for the day. They are, there's usually four papers and they need to get four stamps by the end of the day and they turn in those stamped papers, all four of them, they turn them into their mission box. If they have all four stamped papers, they earn their ticket to playtime. Playtime is the last 15, 20 minutes of the day where we we play with the blocks or the Play-Doh or the Wii, and they have, they have playtime. They have to get all four stamps to enter into playtime, and if they're missing one of the stamps, we can look on the board and they can know which one they're missing, and then I have it for them, they can complete it to get their ticket to playtime. It's black and white, it's yes or no. You either do have the stamps, or you don't have the stamp. And this helps for students that aren't doing their work, you just give them a quick reminder, remember, in order to get your ticket into playtime, you had to have all four stamp papers. And not just having the four stamp papers, we talk about, before each activity, we talk about what do you have to do to earn your stamp? What does quality work look like? What does quality work sound like in the classroom? When I'm walking around the room, here are the things that I should see and I should hear. I should see students with their tummies tucked, voices quiet, crayons and pencils moving. I should hear pencils moving. I should see kids in their seats. We talk about that. To earn your stamp, you gotta complete your work, and I usually have an example paper from the previous day to show them. It should look like this, and then they can know what it's supposed to look like, and when you're working, it should sound like this. And I always remember to tell them, if you get done early, early finishers, turn your paper over on the back and draw a picture. Or you can go into your folder in your desk where they keep all their stamp papers, and you can finish a paper that you did not finish or like I said, draw a picture on the back. So we go over the expectations before each paper, but the key is they're earning a stamp. It's something tangible that they can see. When a, there's about two minutes left, I always set a timer. Okay, we're gonna have 10 minutes to do this. I project the timer on the whiteboard. When there's about two minutes left, I say, okay, we got two minutes left to finish our paper. I'm coming around with my stamp. And I come around and I stamp that their paper. If it's done, if it's not done, when the timer goes off, they put it in their folder, they can finish it later and get the stamp later. This, is, this really helps for classroom management, behavior management, because if a kid's not doing their work, they're not gonna get a play, and all kids wanna play. It's very tangible for them to see, I need to get all four of these papers done by the end of the day. And it also helps students see what's coming next. Oh, I see that we did the first paper already, so coming next soon is gonna be our second activity. And that helps them understand the routine and the flow of the day. So that helps with some of your students that might be more behaviorally challenged, know what to expect next. And you can always give them that reminder. You're trying to earn your four stamps to earn your ticket into playtime. So what I'll do is before the before the activity that we do, I will show them the stamp that we're gonna use. I, you know, I got, got a sheep right here. I got, got a shark. You gotta have your triceratops stamp. I've got the old mustache stamp, you know, you know. I'm um, in my favorite, the, uh, the quality job stamp because it's so objective. It's like, hey, this is a quality job. Uh, anyways, I show them, this is the stamp we're gonna try to earn. We're working towards that Triceratops. And um, if you wanna find out where I got these, I got these stamps on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below if you're interested in getting the same stamps I did. They were pretty cheap. I think there was like 10 or $12 um, for like a pack of three of like 12 in it. Pretty cheap, yeah, that's what I do. I use my stamps, I stamp their paper, and at the end of the day, we count them up. One, two, three, four. Welcome to playtime. Go put your papers in your mission box. Or, ooh, you don't have your stamp? Okay, which one are you missing? Let's check the board. And it helps kids 
be accountable and it helps me be accountable. Uh, it helps me remember what we're doing that day and it helps me decide. It's not how do you behave today, it's did you get your work done? or not. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below, what are some tips you have for getting your students to do quality work? I'd love to find out some other ideas to test out in the classroom and share this video with another teacher friend that you know that might need to use this tip. Make it a great day, teachers, and see you next time.